Hello everyone, uh, I'm Tokoto and today I'm doing a tutorial, ah, tutorial, I, I try to practice saying this before I start my video, tutorial video, there we go, on Ubrak the Destroyer. Now, this is actually supposed to be, um, originally this was supposed to be a tutorial, ah, tutorial video on Ubrak's neck, like fixing it a little bit. This is not like Play Stippling's Magatorium video, uh, you know, like moving the neck up and down, but this is different. Uh, just keep the neck straightened, which I will show in a few minutes. But this is also now a uh, tutorial of how to keep uh, how Umrak's jaw is like this if you want to keep it shut. And I'll just say this 100% credit goes to Swango Bricks. I don't know if he got it from anyone else, but um, he told me about how he to uh, close the mouth like that. And it works perfectly, in my opinion, because, well, you don't have to use these pieces, but I will show now. Um, but we're going to take a look at the mouth jaw piece and then uh, yeah, the mouth jaw, how it's closed and then we'll take a look at the neck because I'm going to need to keep Umrek's head off and plus Umrek's dead again rip a uh, ripperoni again but um how Swango did it or if he did do it by himself I mean he told me about it so that's why I'm giving credit to him if he told me about this but I don't think I, I have not seen anyone else done it but basically what you do is you have two of these pieces faced that way with, a red, with the same red axle that comes with the we're going to destroy himself that instead of using these pieces, pretty much using that. And it's on sideways. So it works really well. Now it's kind of a legal build, Swango said. But I'm like, you know what? Screw the rules. So it does work really well. It's certainly one accurate, I think. I mean, you know, if you don't like it this way, of course, you can just have the original way of the set. But personally, I might keep it this way. I really do like it. So Swango, if you did make this up, dude, you're a genius. This is awesome and of course you can do it with the other beast too which is even better so you know not only you can do it for destroyer but you also do it with the other beast which is cool so we're gonna keep umarex head off but i just want to show you that to you guys so um i don't know how long this is gonna take i don't think it should take too long to show this off um but basically a lot of people in the community have been complaining well not a whole lot but some people have been complaining about the gappiness that he has in his you know under his giant big armor piece you can see it's kind of uh, filled in there with a little armor piece and that is supposed to re uh, resemble part of his neck now of course you have a bigger armor piece i just use a small armor piece from like a star wars set or like because i took my star wars sets apart but i did use a small armor piece you could use bigger ones uh, but i decided to use this just because it fills up the gap in there um that mainly helps just to put an armor piece i mean i don't know what else you can do in here they got some empty pins right here making it just fill it up with like some of their pieces, I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to take the chest piece off and the little armor piece. I'll show you guys, um, a lot of people, what I notice is that when sometimes I have Umarak flying around a little bit, <laughs> and sometimes Umarak falls off my shelf, um, his neck flies forward, and it's really a big problem. Uh, well, not huge, big, not, not like a big, big problem, but, oh, excuse me, it's a problem uh, for some people. So I try to figure out a way how to keep his neck stiff and steady so he doesn't come off so it doesn't come off so easy. So if you guys um let me just take it off and show it to you guys. Now it's kind of hard getting this off. Oh there you go. Now originally um it's it was only supposed to have like pins. Like the um the small one pins. How can I explain this? Like these kind of pins they use for the destroyer's neck. So I decided to use a three long black pin. To keep Umarak's neck steady if you guys get uh, straight. So I had three of them. Um, just one in the back here. And plus I added this piece. Oh, it fell over. Um, I used this piece just to keep it straight too. Uh, it's a black. Uh, so I don't know what this piece is called, but it, I used it in black. But it keeps the neck straight in it and it doesn't like. Let me just put it. Black pin back on. Now, if you, I don't, I can't really show it all. Like the differences, if I, if I had another Umarak, I would have, uh, you know, destroyer. But I don't. But I just want to show you guys that it works pretty well. The neck is strained. I, I don't really mind with this. You know, pretty much, it doesn't really bother me. So I kept this the same. But just, uh, you know, just a thing to point out there for you people that. I've been trying to figure out how to uh, keep Umarak's neck straight. Now, if you do not have any black pins, you can always use the blue ones. I mean, the blue ones look kind of weird, but I use black because, you know, that's what it was used before. But if you can't find any black ones, the black three long ones, then 
uh, you buy off a of brick link, you could do that as they have a, um, a supply of them, I believe. If they don't, then I think I don't I don't see the, those pieces too much in around. Or, you know, I had I found those parts from my uh, my own you know collection of parts I have. But um yeah, so I'll put this back on. I thought it would take longer to show that off, but not really. It's pretty straightforward as it is, but I really just want to make this video just to kind of just show some modifications that you can do with the Red Destroyer. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep the mouth like this forever. Uh, it's actually, uh, he's actually, he's actually using pieces for one of my mocks, which I will show very, very soon. Probably not till a couple months because it's top secret house to see stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs down. I'd say Umar. Uh, you know, it's your decision. If you guys have anything to ask me, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, tell you guys if you know, if you know any other modifications I could do with Umarak, and maybe I'll do it in another video about him. Uh, I mean, I'm not planning to change anything else about him, but I thought may, why, yeah, might as well make this video just to show some modifications you can do with him, or his mouth and his neck. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Once again, I'm Toe Kodo. Till then, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.